friends welcome to civil engineering exam today we are going to see the mcq of railway engineering so the first question the first indian rail line is between option a indore to thane option b bombay to thane option c thane to bangalore option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b bombay to thane so next question which one is not the goal of indian railway vision 2020 option a expansion of network option b multiplication of lines option c design and deliver targeted services option d low speed corridor so the correct answer is option d low speed corridor so next question in the different mode of transportation which mode has lowest degree of freedom option a rail option b road option c air option d water so the correct answer is option a rail next question in the classification of broad gauge which route is defined as the suburban rail line section of metro cities option a group a lines option b group b lines option c group c lines option d group d lines so the correct answer is option c group c lines so next question in the classification of meter gauge the sanction speed on the route is more than 75 km per hour and traffic on the route is more than 2.5 gmt then the route is classified as option a p routes option b q routes option c r routes option d s routes so the correct answer is option b q routes so next question full form of dfccil is option a dedicated freight corporation company of international limited option b down freight corporation company of india limited option c dedicated freight corporation company of india limited option d dedicated flight corporation company of india limited so the correct answer is option c dedicated freight corporation company of india limited so next question full form of irctc is option a indian rolling catering and tourism corporation limited option b international railway catering and tourism corporation limited option c indian railway cars and tractor corporation limited option d indian railway catering and tourism corporation limited so the correct answer is option d indian railway catering and tourism corporation limited so next question cause is defined as option a minimum distance between two rails option b maximum distance between two rails option c minimum distance between two sleepers option d minimum distance between two singles so the correct answer is option a minimum distance between two rails so next question in the broad gauge the distance between two rail is about option a 1476 mm option b 1576 mm option c 1676 mm option d 1776 mm so the correct answer is option c 1676 mm so next question in the narrow gauge the distance between two rails is option a 610 mm option b 762 mm option c both a and b option d neither a nor b so the correct answer is option c both a and b so next question which one of the factor are not affect the gauge selection is option a cost of construction option b signals option c physical features of country option d traffic so the correct answer is option b signals so next question multi gauge problem in railway is option a inconvenience to passengers option b transshipment of goods option c insufficient use of rolling stock option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question dash gauge represent the maximum width and height to the which a rolling stock namely a locomotive coach or wagon can be built or located option a rolling coach option b loading coach option c construction coach option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b loading coach so next question for the broad gauge the maximum height and width of rolling stock namely the locomotive coach or wagon is option a 4140 mm into 3250 mm option b 3250 mm into 4140 mm option c 4000 mm into 3000 mm option d 3000 mm into 4000 mm so the correct answer is option a 4140 mm into 423 sorry 3250 mm so next question using which coach desired by adding necessary clearance to the loading coach so that the vehicle can move safely without infringement option a rolling coach option b loading coach option c construction coach option d space coach 
So the correct answer is option C construction coach. So next question which one is the mountain alignment of railway? Option A is zigzag alignment, option B is switchback alignment, option C is spiral and complete alignment, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. So next question in the coning of wheel the wheels and the rails are slope at option A 1 in 10, option B 1 in 15, option C 1 in 20, option D 1 in 25. So the correct answer is option C 1 in 20. So next question requirements of the ideal rail are option A strength, option B stiffness, option C durability, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. So next question, in the railway engineering, the full form of IRS is option A, Indian rail sector, option B, Indian rail section, option C, Indian road section, option D, international rail section. So the correct answer is option B, Indian rail section. So next question, for defining the maximum axial load with relation to the rail, thumb rule is maximum axial load equal to dash into sectional weight of rail in kg per meter or LBS per yard. Option A 440, option B 560, option C 650, option D 720. So the correct answer is option B 560. So next question, which of the rail section are currently practiced in India? Option A 52 kg per meter, option B 60 kg per meter, option C both A and B, option D none of them. So the correct answer is option C both A and B. So next question, which one is not the method to reduce wear, wear on rail? Option A reduction in number of joints by welding, option B use of bearing plates and proper edging in case of sleepers, option C lubricating the cages face of the inner rail in the case of soft curves, option D interchanging the inner rails and the outer rails. So the correct answer is option C lubricating the curve face of the inner rail in the case of soft curves. So next question, the head of the rails are found not straight but corrugated that is with the wavy surface. That is with the wavy surface the phenomenon is called option A corrugation of rails, option B roaring of rail, option C both A and B, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option C both A and B. So next question, longitudinal movement of the rails in the track with respect to the sleepers is known as option A road of rail, option B creep of rail, option C coning of rail, option D catching of rail. So the correct answer is option B creep of rail. So next question, which is not the characteristics of the creep of rail? Option A creep does not vary at the some constant rate. Option B creep does not continue in one direction only. Option C creep for two rails of the track will not be equal amount option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option D none of the above. So next question in the wave motion theory of creep option A moving load cause deflection option B stable load cause deflection option C air pressure cause deflection option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A moving loads cause deflection. So next question. What is the effect of creep of rail? Option A sleeper move out of position. Option B rail joint open or jammed. Option B buckling of track. Option C all the above. So option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. So next question which is not the factor of governing creep of rails? Option A gradient of track. Option B periodic maintenance. Option C type of rail. Option D direction of heaviest traffic. So the correct answer is option B periodic maintenance. Again we will see in next video. Thank you.